Hi Stampers, welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm super excited to show you this new suite in our new 2019-2020 catalog. I was able to demonstrate it at our Stampin' Up! on stage. I've had a little bit longer time to work with it than most people. Let me show you. It first starts with our stamp set called Free as a Bird. And I love the sayings in it. Your friendship means the world to me. These these are great stamps, and you'll see some fun things that we've done with it. Also, the DSP is designed with our blends in mind. So if you want to get the exact colors that are in a designer series paper, all you just use is our blends. And beautiful colors, paper. Love the paper. All right, we also have in the suite some trim right here, this lace trim. It's very vanilla, and it also can be colored with your blends. Uh, whatever color you'd like. And then we also have these trinkets that are awesome. They have um, a little key, a little ribbon, some leaf, and a flower. So some of them also have the little um, circle there that you can tie it on. Another thing is our nested framelit dies that are stitched. And I've actually put these on a frame that has some a magnet sheet on them. I numbered them and the reason why is if you look at this one and two they kind of overlap and if you notice they're stitched on the inside and outside. What that does is it gives you a positive and negative of the image. I'll show you. So here is the positive of the image and there's the negative. So if you wanted to you can actually put one of these inside of the other and you're cutting out the one piece and this is what comes from the other piece of the same die. So you can get those. It's awesome. You can use them in both ways, positive and negative. So this you're definitely going to want these nested dies. I love the options that it gives you. You can make it a long ribbon and just use the edge or you can even make these bigger by folding your cardstock and just using it from here over and making the piece even bigger and longer. Oh, one more thing I forgot to show you is this um, tin comes with 12 cards and envelopes and the cards are these laser cut cards. They're very vanilla and they're just beautiful and they have this scallop edge on them. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with those too. So there's so many possibilities with this. I'm going to take this little key right here and just add, I made a belly band to go on this. This is great because all these cards come in this tin. So with the belly band, I'm just going to take my glue dots and go ahead and put that on right here with the little lace trim that we have because it kind of matches the key paper right there. So all those were colored with the blends. And if you notice, I'm using this die this way and this way. So it's really a lot of fun. You can use it in so many different ways. So let me go ahead and show you what I've come up with with this stamp set. So you can use any kind of background paper, but I'm going to show you how you can take this. And I've run it through the big shot already, and I'm just cutting off the pointed end. So I'm going to use it like that to be able to stamp. Let me go ahead and stamp the birds. These are so much fun and easy to color the memento ink and then I'm going to go ahead and use our blends. Okay, I'm going to start with the crumb cake and just do the actual, um, just the wood right here. And you don't really have to stay in the lines and just, uh, I'm going to touch up the flowers just a little bit, not a lot, just give it a little dot of color, not the whole thing. Okay, and let me go ahead and use this little guy. I'm just going to do his belly a little bit of the pink. Okay, and then I'm going to take the crumb cake again and kind of do him with the crumb cake. I'm going to leave his beak. That's how these little birds are going to be. So, this will be the inside. So, if you noticed, each one of these nest up, okay? So, they one is bigger than the other. And so, I'm going to take the smaller one and cut it off, same as the bigger one. And I'm going to put this on the inside of my card like so. Move this up here. And then I'm going to take the bigger one and go right on top of it. So you get that nice die. And let me show you the finished product. 
So there's the bigger one, and I put some of the DSP in there. The world needs more of you. So you've got the smaller one too. So that's a fun way to use these cards. Here's another one of them, and you can go ahead and sponge that edge, and it gives you kind of the blue look on there with the pool party. And you notice that I just folded that right over to make it look more like a bookmark or something. That's a fun way to use that. Okay, the next one I'm going to show you is a little bit more advanced, and I went ahead and kind of tri-folded this card. So, um, if you notice, it comes out like this. So I'm going to go ahead and take this part right here. This will become in the inside, and I'm going to go ahead and stamp that with the word were the best of friends. So that will become my inside. So when you're building a card that you want the framelits or the um, the dies to match each other, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start from the back and go forward. Then I'm going to fold this and this will be the next one. And if you notice, I went ahead and lined them up so that they are stacking. So I'm going to go ahead and do the next saying on here, the world needs more of you. Okay, so this will go on top. And I line that up and they're nesting and that's why they call them the nesting dies. And then I will go like this and I'll put the adhesive on this side and look to see that they all line up. Don't, isn't that awesome? And then I'm going to go ahead and put the top part right here so I know that I'm covering it up like that. So then it matches. Okay, this is what the final looks like. It has the trim on there with a little bit and it all nests. Love that card. It's so much fun. Very easy. You'll love these dies. Now I'm going to show you a bunch of the other samples that I did. This one is really cool. It's just using the flower and one side of the dies. This one is using all the birds and you just open it up and it's super simple because look how cool that looks. You can tell that it's made with the blends and it just matches perfectly. And then this right here, we're the best of friends. If you notice this is the stamp, but we don't have one facing the other side. You can go to my blog and search under the videos for our mirrored image video and it will show you exactly how to do this. The world needs more of you. Love just making a strip there and if you notice I sponge that and that's what you got was the inside of that so it's really pretty. And there's just using the DSP with a folder that we already have that looks great with this stamp set. I know that you're going to fall in love with this Bird Ballad suite of products. They worked great together and hope to see you next time on Watch It Weekly Wednesday.